Shaker Village came to be. Uh, the year was 1959, roughly, 1958, 1959. Some elderly Shaker sisters lived here at Hancock Shaker Village. A sign went up on the corner of Route 20 and 41 that said, a thousand acres for sale and two hundred thousand dollars. And that's where the story began. Several groups of people got together uh, who were interested in this very important piece of land. But a woman named Amy Bess Miller, who was married to Pete Miller at that time, the publisher of the Berkshire Eagle, had a different idea. She had begun to know a little bit about the Shakers and became uh, enamored not only of the beautiful land and buildings here, but who the Shakers were. That this was a group of people who came together to live a principled life. And she wanted to ensure that what they stood for beyond their buildings, uh, which were not much to look at at that period of time, would be able to stay. And, and as she wrote, uh, she wanted to make the community in its physical appearance and historic functioning, a living organization. And what the Shakers asked was anybody who's interested in buying this property would need to put together a whole presentation of what they were gonna do with it, and the Shakers would decide based upon that presentation. Uh, fortunate for us, uh, the group that Amy Bess Miller pulled together, which included people from Boston, people from New York, people from the local area who were very interested in preserving this special place, and more important, preserving the traditions of the people who lived here, uh, were able to buy the land for $125,000. Uh, I don't know whether that attests to Amy Bess Miller's negotiating skill or whether that was all the money they could raise at the time. I think it was the latter, but the Shakers said it was such a good idea, the proposal that they had of what they wanted to do here at Hancock Shaker Village, that they accepted it. And the rest, as they say, is history. Uh, Amy Bess put together uh, groups of donors who, one by one, restored the buildings that you see here, the Roundstone Barn, uh, being one of the first and one of the most visible. But piece by piece and step by step, people came forward, gave their money, gave their time, gave their goodwill to see that this place would be preserved, and it's still happening 50 years later. That was 1960. In 1961, Hancock Shaker Village opened to the public.